A chilly Monday across western Washington. Adam, can we expect the temperatures to go up this week? They will go up. Now, how much? Well, that's a, a different story, but kind of hard not to go up from uh, this number right here. Our high today only at 60 degrees. Our low all the way down to 48. Uh, yeah, the low is off of the average, but the high definitely well off from where we should normally be. Should be right at around that 70 degree mark. We only have one of those here upcoming for the week. We'll talk about that. Plus, we'll talk about more rain chances that are on the way tonight as we pick up already about a tenth of an inch out at SeaTac. Something else that's going to be falling later tonight. More snow up here near Paradise. You can see we've had some fresh snow here over the past couple of days. Not a whole lot. One to two, maybe three inches. Possibly could pick up two to four as we head into the nighttime hours as this colder air mass stays in place. Keeps those snow levels around 4,500 to 5,000 feet, but eventually gives way to a warmer one, which is going to help highs back up around the upper 60s by Wednesday. 70 possibly by Thursday. There's your one day in the 70s before we drop back down into the 60s for Friday and Saturday. Here's a look at our Lake Stevens side. You can see some of the rain droplets that have come through. We'll see more of those start to enhance a little more here into the evening, so a few more of us we'll start to see some of that rain for the time being. Uh, we're dry in Seattle temperature at 52, so we're well on our way to hit the 40s as we go into the night and there's a little bit of a breeze too to go along with that. That definitely adds a chill southwest coming in at 15 miles per hour. Current temperatures 51 in Everett, 52 in Tacoma already in the 40s. Shelton, we're at 49. Also seeing that out closer to the coast with forks at 49. Also now you can see right here generally looks like it's a little farther north of I-90, so I-90 maybe a few sprinkles here and there, but as you get closer to highway two, that's where we're seeing most of the rain with our convergence zone. That's been pretty much up this way near and generally north of Everett throughout the day. So if you are traveling along highway two, keep an eye out for it. I think we could possibly even see a few snowflakes up around uh, Stevens Pass late into the night if you had to do that, but uh, no major if any really accumulation expected with that. Maybe just a dusting as it moves through and then you go farther off towards the west. You see some of those showers out closer to the Olympic Peninsula and yes, some of that coming in a little closer to South Sound here as we head on into the night. So that's going to move on through. We'll have that next system well off to the west for the next couple of days. So as that starts to let up, here we are at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Last few showers moving on out of here. We'll see cloudy skies to start off, but then a little more sunshine than what we had earlier today. And then those clouds will start to come back in as we go on into tomorrow night and into Wednesday, which will give way to more sunshine and highs back in the upper 60s, 70s on Thursday. Showers will be few and far between, but we'll see them around at least through the end of the week and into the upcoming weekend. We'll be back.